Book of uh, Bible read uh, Book of Acts chapter eight. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. On that day, he broke out a severe persecution of the church. Uh, there broke out a, pers a, a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. The vault men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Meanwhile, Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samara and proclaimed the Messiah to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip, and when they heard it, they saw the signs of what he was doing. For unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There, were a great, there was a great joy in that city. A man called Simon used to practice magic in the city and astound people of Samaria, claiming to be someone great. All of them, from the least to the greatest, paid attention to him, saying, This man is the power of God that he is called great. They paid attention to him because he had astounded them by his magic for a long time. But once, but once they began to believe Philip, as he preached the good news about the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, men and women alike were baptized. Even Simon believed, and had, even even Simon believed, and after being baptized, became devoted to Philip. And when he saw the signs and the mighty deeds that were uh, occurring, he was astounded. Now, when the apostles of Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of the God, uh, they sent they sent them Peter and John who went down and prayed for them that they might receive the holy spirit for it had been for it had not fallen on any of them uh that they had only been baptized in the name of the lord jesus they then there they laid hands on them and received the holy spirit uh there they laid hands on them and received the holy spirit when simon saw that the spirit was conferred by laying on the apostles' hands. They already <laughs> offered the money. And he said, Give me this power too, so that anyone whom I lay my hands upon may receive the Holy Spirit. But, but Peter said to him, May your money perish with you, because you thought that you could buy the gift of God with money? You have no, you have no share or lot in this matter, for your heart is not upright before God. Repent of this wickedness of yours and pray to the Lord that, if possible, your intention may be forgiven. For I see that you're filled with bitter with bitter gall and and are in the bonds of iniquity. Simon said Simon said in reply, Pray for me to the Lord, that nothing of you what of what you have said may have may, may, may uh, come upon me. So that when they so when they testified and proclaimed the word of the Lord, they returned to the Jerusalem. They returned to Jerusalem and preached the good news to many Samarian villages. There the angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south to the road that goes down from, south, from Jerusalem to the Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out there. Now there was an Egyptian eunuch at a court, a court official of the, of, of the Can, Candace, that, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship. And was returning home, seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go up and join with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah, Isaiah the prophet, and said, Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you're reading? He replied, How can I unless uh, someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to slaughter, and as a as a lamb, before the shearer is silent, he opened not his mouth. So he opened not his mouth. In his humility, in his in his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from his earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, "I beg you, about about whom is the prophet saying of this? About himself or about someone else?" Then Philip opened his mouth and began, beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As he traveled through the road, as he traveled along the road, they became they came to some water, and Unic said, "Look, there's some water. What is to prevent my be being baptized?" Ten. I don't know what the hell ten is. So ten is the oldest and the best manuscript. Oh, the oldest and best manuscripts omit this verse. 
which was a Western text reading, as Philip said, If you believe of all your heart, you may. He said in reply, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of the Lord. And he said in reply, I believe Jesus, son is the, uh, Jesus Christ is the Son of the Lord. Hmm, why would you omit that verse? The verse is pretty, pretty, pretty primo. A primo verse. Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the uh, eunuch wolf went down into the water, and he baptized them. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch called him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azores and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. So number 10 is this line here. The owners of the best... Okay, no, no, uh, it's just here. And Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he said in reply, and the, he said in reply, the eunuch said in reply, uh, he being the eunuch, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Okay, uh, so thank you for watching our show. We're going to chapter 11. Da, 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 da. Thank you. Oh, chapter 9. Okay, chapter 9. Thank you for watching our show. Have yourselves a lovely evening, people.